And right now it's time for that time when we have our special guest. Tonight's special guest is Bob Harvey. Before the Super City, Bob was the mayor of Waitakere City. Now he's the chairman of the Waterfront Development Board. The waterfront is starting to buzz. Things are happening. Bob joins us tonight for an update. We welcome Bob Harvey as our special guest on The Beat Goes On. Bob Harvey, welcome. Thank you. Welcome nice to, to be here. Oh, well, you must, you've must got to be the most busy man in Auckland at the moment. The chairman of the Waterfront Development. I guess I am busy, and yeah. I've always wanted to be busy. Yeah. And I certainly had 18 years as mayor of Waitakere. And I guess I did something like 600 meetings a year. So I didn't want to slow down. <laughs> 600 and, uh, meetings. So I moved over to Waterfront Auckland, and I don't think I do 600 meetings, but, <laughs> but I'm there most days. Uh, and uh, the result has been a magnificent waterfront with a great team of people. But that was sea and city mm. before I turned up and before yeah. it became Waterfront Auckland. Yes, they exactly. had three years of planning, and I really applaud them for mm. great spatial planning, mm. terrific vision about how it could look, and we've just brought it together. Now, before we get onto the waterfront, I... What did you feel when you first heard this news about a super city? Were you for it or you were against it? I was for it. You were for it? Well, yeah. Right from the start? Um, not from the start. Um, and I guess a few of my loyal fans out in mm. Waitaki would say, how could he be for it? Because you were such a great advocate for oh, Waitaki. Oh, the West has not yeah. lost what it yeah. had. But I, I got sick of different laws governing different parts of the city. Uh, you know, one side of the road you, you had this for fencing, and the other side of the road you didn't. Yeah. On one side of the road you could light fires, the other side you couldn't. <laughs> Not that that's a big issue. But, you know, different licensing laws, different dog laws. I thought this is crazy. Yeah, you could see the sense. And different yeah. rating yeah. systems. Mm -hmm. And I kept on saying to my uh, troops out there, we've got yeah. to link. Well, they didn't want to do that. Um, and I got more and more grumpy about us uh, and, and them, you know, the, the competitiveness between us and North Shore. Sure, and Madakao City. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, I wanted to put an airport, which I think was a very sane idea, up at uh, the top of the thing. And that Mayor Williams, now, you know, probably in a rest home somewhere, um, <laughs> you know, didn't want it and campaigned yeah. against it. And that was the kind of nonsense mm. that you have to... So you had, had to, to live with, with yes. Yeah. I mean, when I, I remember Mayor um, Mills came in, um, I mean, I really thought he had a terrific uh, mm. idea for, for Britomart. And um, it didn't go ahead, mm. you know, and they threw him out. And uh, I thought that was a tragedy. And then Christine came in and then Banks came in and they threw them out. And then Hubbard came in and they threw him out. And I thought, what the hell goes with this? Mm. How can... Auckland uh, have so little heart, mm. so little vision, uh, and so I felt that Auckland was in serious mm. trouble. Yeah. Well, it isn't now. Mm. Um, I think uh, Mayor Brown has brought it all together, and he came like I did from a suburb, mm. a terrific suburb out south, and um, I'm still a Westie, mm. and I don't miss the job, but I do miss the people. So I love the people out there. On that night um, uh, when um, Mayor Len Brown came in, you received this new job offer that was to be the chairman of the Waterfront. I sure did. How, how did that come about? Well, I think that uh, they felt that maybe I had some ability. Yeah. Uh, I think I've got ability with leadership um, and ability to get things done. Mm. And I think that they felt that the Waterfront, which was ticking along pretty well, needed to get those red fences down mm. and get a dazzling future. So they obviously thought, well, Harvey can do that. <laughs> well, I can do it with a with a group of people. Yeah. And the group of people just have been called Waterfront Auckland. And uh, they are fantastic. And that's who's who have delivered one of the great waterfronts of the Pacific, and I think internationally, one of the waterfronts. Because we've got a great harbour. See, yeah. a lot of countries don't have they great do. harbours and they don't have the Gulf. So when you approach Auckland, you come past those wonderful islands mm -hmm. and you come around North Head and you go, wow, look at that city. Mm -hmm. Auckland's suddenly looking beautiful. Who is the Waterfront Development Board? Who are they? We're responsible to council. Mm -hmm. We are what are called a CCO. Yep. We're a council-controlled organisation. And so our relationship with the mothership mm -hmm. uh, is a damn good one. Yeah. And also, of course, w Waterfront Auckland and the ports are both owned by Auckland City. 
So what's your overall long-term vision plan for this wonderful whole area down there that really has been stolen from the New Zealand public for years now, hasn't it? You well, talked about the red it gates. was security, security, I think, and yeah. uh, the whole thing about the harbour board, the old harbour board, mm. uh, it was a no-go zone. Yeah. Um, it was a working wharf. That wharf stretched right along, I'm talking of the ports, stretched right along to the, the Wingard Quarter and out into the tank farm. Yeah. So if you're asking me what I see as a big vision, I certainly think the tanks will go. Yep. They'll go probably in five to eight years. It will be replaced by a dazzling park. Mm. And we're just looking now about what might go on the end of that. But I think along the way there'll be a series of terrific experiences, mm -hmm. like mu museums. Uh, I played around with possibly suggesting something like Te Papa, North, mm -hmm. a Guggenheim, a combination between uh, an international museum and our own museums, not as a rival at all to the Auckland Museum, which I think is iconic and wonderful, but complementary. And we're working yeah. towards the concept of something like that, and that would be one of the great attractions in New Zealand and for Auckland. What's the political will to do this? Uh, what are you getting from the council about? I'm getting what you're fantastic doing? support. Okay, they uh, understand that this is a great yeah. council because they, it's made up of people that have come from mm. other councils and elected people, and the relationship between ports and the council of good and waterfront Auckland and uh, the council of good. You couldn't work and do what we've done unless you have a great relationship. And Len is a good leader. Mm. I think he's a fantastic leader. And, and he's got the job, and I reckon he's going to keep the job. Yeah. And so we work very comfortably and alongside the, the new council. So that's a good report card. It's one year in now. It's about one year in no, November? eight months. Yeah, eight, 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 months. Months. eight months. But in November, say, basically one year. So, yeah. uh, And yeah. you're happy with the progress so I'm far. very happy, and I think yeah. Aucklanders too. I think probably 100,000 people have probably been down to the waterfront mm. and have ridden on our trams and yeah. e eaten in our b the restaurants and bars and cafes, walked over the Tiwero Bridge, mm. gone to the uh, new event centre and thought, where the hell did this come from? So Auckland has been transformed in the last month. We want the wharves and the waterfront to be mm. used by families. This is where the family should come and walk sure. and enjoy themselves. All waterfronts, yeah. all good waterfronts are just that. They have terrific sure. entertainment, they have yeah. good bars, they have good family restaurants, and uh, you can walk, you can stroll, you can yeah. bring your skateboard. You don't have to buy anything, just a nice place to Just enjoy, and yeah. that's why the place is so big. Yeah. and so spacious. Now the opening day, walk us through that, uh, the opening day of the Wynyard Quarter. That's the first section to be finished, isn't it? Um, the Prime Minister was there. And, uh, what sort the of a day was the it? The Prime Minister was there and so was Len Brown and so was Nati Fatua. So we, we brought the walker in under the Tiwero Bridge and uh, I think about 50,000 people came. And it was one of those great days for Auckland. Um, we got our trams running and of course they were full all the time and we've reduced the price of yeah. affairs. I hear from, that, from it was $10. $10, yeah. now 5 and children free, mm. only because we've had such great business on them. Mm. And uh, the, the reason that we had $10 is we have a company which is we negotiated out of Christchurch and they gave us a fair structure. Mm. But we thought, hey, look, we're filling these trams mm. every weekend, um, why not? So children free. And business. the next stage is, that was the first stage, when you had quarter what's the next big finished development uh, the next big development will be the passenger terminal mm. uh, the next big development is the rugby world cup yeah uh, with the big ball we're inflating that in a couple of weeks time that's free that's a free experience and it is one of the great experiences the cloud will be there shed 10 these are free yeah. and uh, Queen's Wharf is now absolutely redeveloped we had a blessing of it last week and walked through and all of us uh, as we walked through it thought this is a great le legendary and legacy for Auckland. Now to finish off Bob, you enjoy it. Do you like being down there and the, the hustle and the bustle? Yeah, the well I'm a swimmer <laughs> and uh, we've got a set of stairs there yeah. um, and uh, in summer I'm going to have to swim. I mean everyone swims off the wharves uh, around the world, uh, in, including Wellington. Uh, so there'll be a few diving platforms. Uh, we want people to enjoy the water. Yeah. The water's clean, um, except when it rains a bit, that we have a little, <laughs> little mixture. But around the world, people enjoy swimming 
on their waterfronts. Mm. And Sweden, particularly in Scandinavia, mm. they have steps going into the sea. Uh, they have that in the Netherlands. Uh, great waterfronts generally allow people to have a dip yeah. uh, and bring your kayaks in, bring your outriggers in, and bring your walkers in. That's what I want down there. So it's a people-friendly place. How many, give, give us how many years do you think it'll take to finally, to, to, to complete everything that you, you, you've dreamed of? I think it's 20 years, 20 before, years before the park, the headland park, but then mm. we'll still, still keep moving. Yeah. Uh, these things are Nevers, living. Yeah. Waterfronts are living, but right now, right now, it's open for business and open for Auckland and New Zealand. Bob Harvey, great to see you today. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Good to see you.